If you are a developer, you can be a great asset to your user experience team or UX team uh, by giving them some analytics and uh, user background by using Google Analytics. So if you know a lot about Google Analytics and you can use it uh, to your advantage, it is a great tool that can tell a lot about your users, their devices, their operating systems, their location and even the time spent on a page or uh, what are the pages or where in the checkout process the user dropped. So these user flows and drop offs on different pages can tell you a very big story or maybe a problem behind this page or some control or it can tell you a lot that this page has some problem and we need some fixing on this. There are other tools which shows you what users are actually doing on your app or on your website. These tools are going to record your users activity where they click using a video. So they are going to show you the actual user activity where the user is having problem on a specific page and you can use this tool to your advantage. You can easily see it is like a usability test. You can easily see what the user or where the user is having problem on your website. Tools like Hotjar and UX Cam, they can create videos and heat maps of your user activity. I have used Hotjar previously with my website Learn UX ID and I recorded like 30 or 40 video sessions and this is a great tool. So you can use these kind of tools along with Google Analytics to reveal a lot of story to your user experience team and you can be a very great user experience team member if you have good experience using these tools. Let me show you these tools in action. This is Hotjar. I have uh, signed up their free account and uh, you can see here we have a lot of different analysis tools like heat maps, recordings, funnels, forms. You can even create polls and surveys uh, which can be implanted on your main page or any other page of your website. So you can get a lot of feedback from your user along with what they are actually doing. So right now, I have enabled it again so it is going to record 300 recordings with my free package over here so I have signed up for free this is my basic package if you want to go with more recordings you can go with them now let's see some of the valuable data we can collect from Google Analytics and you can see over here this is uh, the Google Analytics data from my freelancing course and these are all the countries uh, my most users are from United States India top 10 countries then here you can see these are the top channels from where the most of the traffic is coming from most of the traffic is direct then we have referral email social and organic searches these are all the different browsers my users or my students are using you can see chrome is the mostly used firefox safari and edge okay so these are the top three browsers which I should be looking for. So I need to see or test my website or app in these browsers before launching it or maybe some users are having problem in these browsers or my CSS or HTML is not working. My uh, website is not working properly. So I need to fix it. Then this is user flows. Uh, here it shows you how much the drop offs were uh, when the user quit some page or they you know drop off from this page you can see here we have different countries and their user flow and uh, how they have been uh, interacting with my different pages and urls so i am not an seo expert so i don't know much about this uh, sessions and all this thing but this tool is really helpful if you know how to use it then you can see here are the mobile devices my students are using apple samsung xiaomi xiaomi and lg and huawei so these are all the mobile devices they are using so i need to test or maybe you demi need to test on apple and samsung their apps and their web pages that they are loading properly and uh, users can easily use them. So this is all about using analytics and analysis, uh, screen recording and heat maps for developers. If you are a developer and you are good with these tools, you can be a very good asset and very good team player in user experience team. If you have any questions, do ask me. Let's move on to the next lesson.